Well, this is Baruch, your lift manager here once again at the Tikkun Elevator Kolel. And what we want to do is is go over Parshas Niso in the Zohar. And I want to remind everybody or those those people who are able to listen to this year and follow it, we do translate it into English, is that all of the great tzaddikim, including the Vilna Gon and people that followed after him, all hold that the study of the Zohar will bring Mashiach. Now, we're living in a world where the there are many people who have attended yeshivas and know how to learn, but this is not part of the curriculum in yeshivas, so that people, the average person, is not really aware of what's in it. And it's, it's, it's very common for people who are scholars who know some of what we call the just learning uh, Talmud, uh, could think, consider it to be really, really difficult on an extremely high level, and therefore, da 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 da, they don't do it, and so therefore, it's a closed door. But here we are, we're saying it. We want everybody to get into the idea, those who can, that the the study of the Zohar will bring Mashiach. Now let's come over here and parse the Zohar and get started and see what we can learn in our little bit of time here. The, <laughs> the Zohar quotes a pasa. If I yadavik Hashem and Moshe lemor, Hashem spoke to Moshe saying, "The so as in the so as Rosh bnei Gershon, lift up the heads of the children of Gershon." Now he says the the farish pasuk there in order to explain this pasuk, Rabbi Abba pasuk, Rabbi Abba in the yeshiva stood, I guess you'd say, and he began to speak. Hikting the forest Masha Kasa, so he come want to explain this Pasak too. Ashray Adam Lo Yaksha Vashem Lo Avon. Happy is the portion of a person that Hashem Yudke Vatke in judgment of that person does not consider what he does is a sin, that he has sins in him. Fahim Barucho Ramio and he has no deceit, he's no hypocrite. He doesn't fool anybody. He's not trying to do that. There is no deceit in this person. The armor high crawl love ratio is safe if the love safe ratio. Now, for me, this is always a, a hard time. Sometimes this is difficult for me to understand. The puzzle translation is this: pasuk ze ain ain tehi lasuk So he says this pas pasuk. The beginning of the pasuk is not like the end of Ain and his his end is not like his beginning. Why? Because to begin with, he says that Hashem does not consider this person to have iniquity. It's possible that the person has sin. But Hashem doesn't consider it to be a real iniquity. But the sofa cost of it, then in the end, it says like this, V'ein Baruch Ramia, and he has no deceit in his spirit. Mashba she'ein lo avon kal, which makes it sound like he has nothing, no sin within him at all. V'yisna stak lebe, so let's say, let's start looking at this pasa. V'yish mashba his bonin bo, so there's what we need really to understand here. V'ha'okmuhu, now this has been explained before. So this is also part of the testimony of the yeshiva, and that was in Parshas Ve'era. It's another place, but we're going to take it from where we're at right now. Now, um, what what did I want to say about this? I like what I like what came out of my mouth when I said that uh, these are actually the notes of what took place in this yeshiva. So all we need in order to be able to understand this incredibly high thing is to learn a few words and get a little bit of the idea about what we're really going for. And here we come over now. So now the, uh, we're coming first and we're saying like this. Now I'm going to come and say like this. Tachazi. When you start the very first the tip of the uh of night time begins the the shadows of night all uh, start to fall he says what time is this which is approximately one half hour after midnight so then already you're seeing that the inclination of the sun is towards downwards as din is sharia at this time didn't begin to dwell in the world the kochas adin misgavrim, but Yosef and the kochas adin start to grow. They become much more powerful. 
So then it said the Yitzchak tikein salusa de mincha, but Yitzchak, Yitzchak avinu, shehoyim mushrosh begavura, and we have to understand how is Yitzchak able to do this. Yitzchak was able to misakein this time because he himself is the gavura of powerful, powerful gavura, but the gavura of kedusha. So he says, let me read it again. Yitzchak shehoyim mushrosh begavura tikein oz tefitas mincha. So therefore, at this time. He established the pillar to feel of Nintra, connected this order to the din. And he did this opposite or in contradiction or to fight or to stand up against the arousal of the dinim that begins to start at this time. So then Yitzchak comes into this situation and he brings Gavura, he takes that Gavura, which is what we call in, 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 uh, in Kabbalah would be called sweetening or perfuming the Gavuros. And then the Zeranpin, Anpin, what to understand for you, those of you who know a little bit of Zeranpin is composed of three lines, a right line, a left line, and a middle line. These are the lines of the flow of the light of the Ains of Barku down towards the lower light, the world, lower worlds. One of the lines in Zeranpin is called Gavura, that's the left line. Shall let this be all in the old din, and this is the time of the day when that din is ready to go to work. At the Asi of Olelia, this goes on at Shiba of Aniknas Olayla. This goes on until the night time comes. So what happens then? Shah shall let this a Malchus he so Gavura Tato. So that's when Malchus really comes into play, and she is actually the ruler over the lower Gavuras. So Nikras Lilo, and it has another name. Those lower Gavuros are called by the name Night. Uh, which is aroused from the Dinim that now are coming into Malchus. So all this arousal of Dinim, understand that everything goes through Malchus. It comes to our level. And if the pure Din is coming at that time, it's a difficult time because it's coming at us too. Begin the Kabbalah of the Lelelia. Today the Kabbalah is the Dinim. Hanik was Lila Al Shem Hamalchus Shasholetus. So this is that. Therefore, the dinim she's right now open and she's receiving all these dinim. That that he says a dinim and Nick was Lila Al Shem Hamalchus Shasholetus. Because now these are being received through Malchus. Of his zim that the Shavit Zalusa the Mincha. Of his man Shemaskil has man Shatavidas the Mincha. So from the moment. Which is here he's saying Mincha Gedola, which is one half hour approximately after uh, midday. Shahazim is Ordres and Gavura de Zah, because then you start to get an arousal of the Gavuros of Zerampin. May Oz, and from that part, that point, is Paras small of the Kibla. Miss Pasha does small, the small is the side of Din. So we have three sides, as I said before a right, which is Chesed, a left, which is Din, and a middle, which is we could call it the middle line, which balances between the two and hopefully brings the din side to be sweetened by the chesed side. Kenega the malchus. So now this is all all aroused and malchus is on the left. Yes, Arilelia and, and nighttime is aroused. Um, is order the rabbalayla shi'a malchus, so the nighttime is aroused. He's is order the bedini bekochasech, so bedinehu, and all of the arousal of all of her dins, that is the line, night, the nighttime dinim, the lila, lila, which represents the dinim of malchus, bekochasech, uh, and all of her power. Let's go on a little bit more and let's see what else, what we could get uh, from going here. Ba'asa this ayra achashim is order the bedini of malchus. So now that we have an arousal of the dinim of malchus, Call in in the Turi Piskin de Labar. Now let's try to understand these. The translation is called Osem Shomre HaPesachim Hakitzayim. Now what does he mean by the by, by the Pesachim Hakitzayim? So we want to try to understand this. Let's see what he says, and then we'll see if we can still under still have problems. So let's see what he says. What are these Shomre, the guards of the uh, uh, of the outside gates, the outside doors? Now what are the outside doors? So I want to say that Kedusha is also surrounded. Kedusha is surrounded by Klippa. So the outside of Kedusha, which usually referred to some aspect of Malchus, is surrounded by Klippa. Shehem Shomre Pischech HaChecholos Shebein the Kedusha the Chol. And so he explains. These are the guards, the guards of the doors, the doorways, the entranceways, to the palaces, 
these palaces are this place we're talking about is between what is kadosh and what is not kadosh kulhu misaren baalma is pshatu kula misorodus misorodim all of these doors these gates these shimrim are all aroused baolam is pashin the shrosh al benadam and they start to flow out to spread onto and control men and at this time is dark. People go to sleep. In the time of the, uh, as we said, I guess before, as it, at, at the time that the Zohar was written and these notes were taken, when it got dark, people went to sleep. So in the nighttime, in the summertime, though, it got dark late, they stayed up late. But in the wintertime, when it's short, they went to bed early too. So he said, people go to sleep at nighttime. And, and what happens is <clears throat> all mankind tastes the taste of death. Why? Because we have a rule in Torah, Yahashina he echad bemisa is one sixtieth of death. It's a small taste, but it's a taste. For it so it said like this we've learned this. Keep it falgus mamish. Now let's go back. We're in the nighttime, and in the time of Dinim. The time when everybody's tasting a little bit of death. Bechatzos alayla mamish. But when a person, if, so let's just take this time. There is a specific moment in the nighttime, which is called chatzos, which is called absolute midnight. Behind it, in the kudus chatzos, at the point of chatzos, exactly at that moment, there's like, it's like a one moment. I don't know how you break it down, but it's a precise, precise moment that this chatzos takes place. When they ask happen this iris small look at the kadmin, so this at this moment the left line, which is the line of din, is also aroused. Miss order the small, shuha gavura kamekoidim. So which is the line of gavura, just like before? The hindu kamo bein ha'avayim b'zman the mincha. You say, for say, for example, that at dusk, at the time of mincha, which to me is the time to pray, to pray mincha, the best time. That's when the goats come in. Anyway. He says the Hilo Kamo Kane Bar Bizman Hamincha at the time of Mincha. So he says Ella Shibiyom, he has ordered this Hagavur of the Zah. But let's say like this, what's happened is in the daytime, Zeranpen has three lines. So we say what's happening in the daytime at Mincha time and at dusk time, there is a certain arousal of punishment of Din. But this is the din of the left line of Zeranpen. Belila, but it gets deeper into the light. Into the night, he has ordered this gavura de ima, so it re, it arouses the gavuros that are inside of ima, which is a higher or deeper level. Uvar the kedusha, so the holy rose, the hashoshana kedusha shiha malchus, which is malchus, hanikra shoshana. So why is it called? The matuk says why is it called the shoshana? Al shema pasuk this pasuk the shoshana be nacholchim, like a rose. This is the Jewish people. Uh, between the thorns, which is where we live amongst these Gentiles, who remes the galus ashkina shiyarda the bria, which is a, a a reference to the exile of the shkina, just goes down into bria. The he salka rechim ala rechos shem so the man, and what it does when she's down in bria. Now, why why does Malchus go down into bria? Because we mess up. We mess up and we fall, that is our neshamas, our lights, all of that which is abound with us, is fallen, fallen into the mouths of the klipa of false ideas. We live in the midst of this nonsense, which is the world we live in. Many Kabbalists, including Rabbi Yaakov Hillel, hold that the 80% of this world is, is, is the poison of the snake. It's all, it's a poisoned world. But we live in different places in there and learn Torah in the middle of it. So he says that, so what's happening is, is that this rose, which is stuck in the middle of all the schmutz, he says it starts praying, which is the, which we say is, is Hashem Sod Haman, or learning Torah, which is the concept of bringing Mayim Nukfin from the bottom to the top. So she starts to make praises. And she lifts it up, her voice. And she gives song and, and praises 
to a Kodesh Baruch Hu the whole night long. Now this is Malchus we're talking about. What does she need? What does Malchus need? Malchus needs, which is the female aspect, she is calling for the male to come and bring her out. Besod Elokim al Demin Lachser, which is the concept of who could be like you? Name Elokim, which is named Din. She is offering those Dinim. Vukadan the Oz Bekoch Hashavah the Haramas Kol Bezmiro. So now, because of the praise, the lifting up of her voice in, in these songs, the Vukoch Lima the Tervis Shachat Sadikim Acha Chatzos Alayla, and particularly those of those Sadikim who wake up after Chatzos Lima the Tervis Shachat Sadikim Acha Chatzos Alayla. Salka oilecha b'shachar, so it goes up at this time. Uh, this time, uh, where are we? Oilecha uh, b'shachar, uh, b'shar yoreisha the eila b'smolo, and the head, her head, starts going up towards the left. V'shora rosha the hindecha b'kesher shulo. So what does he mean by that? That is the highest point of the nukva of the of malchus, because malchus has ten spheros. Let's see how it goes. So one of the spheros is her kesser. The lamala minachaz, it starts growing. So the normal place of the kesser of the nukva is at the chest of Zeranpin. We've been through this many times before. She's normally short or very small and then grows up to the top of his, his chest. But at the same time, uh, she's going to grow higher. The nikasha bezroa smolis and she managed to find herself on his left arm. Shall Zeranpin be so small tachas the rosha, which is another puzzle which we see all the time. Is that your left arm underneath my head? Was small of the kabbalah, but a small the zir anpin, and the the left arm of zir anpin receives her, receives also besod tefila shel yad. So therefore, the left arm of zir anpin receives all of this prayer from the nukva. That's what happens at nighttime after chutzos. This is Baruch Fleischman. This is Tikkun Elevator Kolel.